Okay, it's bedroom week in Fly Lady Land. I've got the timer started, but I'm going to be your timer today because I'm going to do a big declutter. Diana Demark here. Rah, rah, rah. I am not going to lie, I'm not feeling like doing it today, but hey ho, we're, we're just working for 15 minutes. And as you know, you can get a lot of cleaning done in 15 minutes. The last time we were in this zone, I showed you cleaning and a bit of decluttering. Today I'm focusing on the decluttering. And I'm actually going to declutter some things from uh, my kids' rooms and the guest bedroom. So let's head over there. The usual procedure, make sure you've got bags or boxes for your donations, for things that have to go back into a, a different room, uh, anything that's going into the recycling. And I'm, I'm working in the guest bedroom today and also I've brought in some items from my kids' rooms. Now remember, I never show my family on camera. I like to give them their privacy. The, the kids have moved out now into their own apartments, but we, we still have uh, bedding and things. And my friend Karen, who's working with refugees, She's put out another list of what, what they uh, need. She, she does a lot of volunteering work. So that's why I'm looking through the bedding because I'm pretty sure there's stuff here that uh, I don't need to keep. So let's just uh, get stuck in. So we'll come a wee bit closer. I'm just going to go through them one by one. And normally I would do this actually in the room, but this is just <laughs> so, so you can work along with me and see, see the process. Uh, and for, the, for bedding, we keep... Uh, a couple of sets of sheets and we keep them between the mattress and the, I don't know what you call it, uh, of, you know, the slatting things of, of the bed uh, or between the, the, the two mattresses, depending on, you know, if you've got a box mattress. So actually from, from my daughter's bedding, we'll, we'll, we'll keep what she's got. There's one set on and there's a couple of sets spare. A couple of um, pillow, um, what do you call them, cushion covers. Those can go because I'm, I'm not going to use those again. It's another nice one. Right, donations. Okay, this this rug I really love. This this throw rug. So this one gets to stay. I love the colours in this one. Right next. Okay, and this is sheets. Oh, they, these are duvet covers. Uh, single duvet covers. I, I don't need to keep all of those. So those can go. Maybe you're not working in the, uh, in the bedrooms this week, maybe you're working in another area. But we're, we're just kind of going around the fly lady zones and reassessing. And remember here, you don't need to ever be finished with your decluttering. We're, we're just doing as much as we can in 15 minutes. And decluttering is, is, is a process. Do you still need these things? Have your kids moved out? Have you downsized? Have you added a baby to the mix? It, you know, we're, we're just looking at our, our things with fresh eyes every time we're in the zone. These, uh, this duvet set I really like, and I remember when we bought these with money from my brother-in-law. Do you see? It's uh, red and pink. And we bought these, that must have been tw 20 years ago, but, uh, you know, when you look after your stuff, it washes up well. And, and also, we don't use a tumble dryer. We've never had a tumble dryer because uh, it takes an awful lot of electricity. It sucks the life out of your clothes. Uh, and I hang my washing inside in here in the house, in the basement or outside, like today when the weather's okay. Those are definitely staying. A couple of uh, fitted sheets. I've got three of those. I'm also going to keep those. What's next? Let me pull it out for you. Uh, what, what do you call these? Uh, I think should be what we call them a bedspread. You know what? Our heating has improved so much that we really don't need these things anymore. So that this one can go. It, it is really nice. I mean, look at nice colours, but no, that can go. And listen, I won't, I won't waste your time by folding it up on camera. Same goes for this one, the turquoise. But actually, we're never going to use that again. So that can go. Woohoo! Don't you enjoy when you can hand on big items to other people? Right, coming around the other side. This is a very, very light Ikea duvet. <laughs> one of these ones which is about like two togs. A summer one. Uh, and I'm going to ask the kids uh, about that because I'm pretty sure it was my daughter. She really likes the very, very, very light. Well, I actually know because the kids both have double beds in the apartments that they have. So that, that's not going to be any use to them. 
and I, I think this one can go as well. Good job, I brought my two big IKEA bags. And the kids do sleep here occasionally, but they, as they've got their own apartments, but they're just on the other side of Copenhagen. They're usually maybe just here for a night or two nights. Um, so, so we've got enough bedding for that. Right, next one up, this rug. Should I hold on to it? Should I not hold on to it? I'm going to hold on to it for just now because it does go quite nicely with with these pinky ones. Mm, yeah, okay, I'll hold on to it just now. It, it, may, it may not survive the next round of decluttering, but let's see. Okay, and this obviously is the bag for this one. And again, this one is going to go. Woo, another big thing. And this is going to be a real workout to, to roll it up and get it back into the bag, but it's all good, good for the arms. Right, and another one. And this one is even, I've still got the uh, original tag from it. Okay, you can see which this one is. Uh, most of our, all of our bedding basically comes from Ikea. Uh, and it is a nice one, but my husband really doesn't like these things on the bed either. So I think this one, can go as well. Look at that! Wow. I'm gonna feel. I'm gonna feel like Santa Claus with these big bags when I take them over to Karen's. Let Let me roll these up. Yay! And our ones are all clean. They've been in uh, cupboards, uh, so so they're not dusty or anything. Remember, if you're gonna pass them on to somebody else, maybe you want to pop them in the wash first. Give them give them a, a quick uh, a quick clean up. And as usual, if you need some help with decluttering and cleaning in the zones, I've got a whole playlist where you can see me working all the zones. I've also got ideas on my website for things that you can declutter in the zone, uh, gardening <laughs> by Flyer Lady Zone. But I tell you what, so I'm just going to go through this chest of drawers. Now this, this belonged to my dearly departed Danish father in law. But let's take a wee look and see if there's something else we can uh, declutter. I keep things for guests uh, and, and I keep these away most of the time and then if anybody's coming I can bring them out so, so that things don't get dusty. Got extra toilet roll in here, uh, toiletries. You know what, I should really go through this uh, basket. So that I'll do when I'm sitting in front of the TV tonight. Hair dryers. Actually, I've got two in here. I've got a travel one and a spare one. And tinker, tinker, tinker. <laughs> Same Danish, think, think, think. I think I'll keep the travel one and this one. Ooh, this one can go. It's going in the bag. A uh, Danish flag that I, I, I put in, you know, a vase when, when we've got guests. These were decorative things, but this one's gone a bit messy. No, that, that, that can actually go in the bin. I've got, I've got my bin here from my office. Oh, actually, this has come out as well. No, no, they, they, these are going. You know, the things have a, have a life and, until they're kind of, that, that, that's not good enough to pass on. I've got this little tree and sometimes, you know, I put a candle on it in the room. That, that gets to stay. Guides to Copenhagen. It's useful to have them in here for, for the guests. Um, and places where you can go, like La Glace, which is the very famous condi conditori, where they have like a hundred different types of cake. Been going since 1870. So, so I keep that there with all the kind of guides to Denmark. That's so funny. Another copy of this says Enifold Skypes to the Danes. I've got two copies. My friend Erica from America, she's got one as well that she's just decluttered. Oh, and for those of you who are always asking for tips of what, what to see in Denmark, I've got lots of videos on my Denmark Hygge and, and travel playlist. But the number one thing that you must do when, when you come to Copenhagen is do the canal trip because that way you see the city from the water and you see all the major sites. You can just kind of sit back and enjoy it. I love being on the water. Right, next, next drawer. Here we go. Some extra towels for guests. And down, right, right down the bottom, I've got the slippers that belong to my brother and my, my sister-in-law. She's got really small feet. So when, when they come here, they don't need to uh, bring their slippers with them. Uh, and <laughs> trip down memory lane, we've got little Ted. We've got Big Ted, and no, I do not want to have these on display, but these are my, my childhood things. This really old dog, and this dog is a pyjama case uh, that belongs to my mum, and my mum's 87, <laughs> mum's in Edinburgh, and I, I don't know, I just wanted it. She didn't want to keep it, but I don't, I don't, yeah. So, that, that's what's in here.
And I won't show you that one because my son's got some of his stuff in there, but we'll go up to the top. This one, we've got a clock that can stay. Oh, we've got two bottle openers. Because sometimes I've had uh, like bottled water in here, but actually we never use it. This one can go. This is uh, a Danish one, skeleton that, that uh, I can put downstairs with the stuff in the dining room. So that gets to stay and this one can go in the bag. Oh, a shoehorn. Actually, that can go out in plastic recycling because my, my dad died several years ago, so he, he's not coming here anymore. And he was the only one that used a shoehorn. Right, I've got some hair clips for doing your hair. I don't think we need those anymore. I've not got long hair. My daughter's got long hair. My daughter's got beautiful curls, as does my son. No, though, though, those can go. Oh, battery for the clock. This one we used to write on, you know, welcome to whoever the guest was, but that, that, that can go. A very old hanky. No, that, that, that can go. A measuring tape if we're measuring up for, for furniture. Uh, an emery board, nail file thing. Okay, pair of scissors and, okay, pair of scissors. And then, and a lighter because we often have candles. An old perfume, that, that, that can go. And recycling. Little safety pins and things that we've used in here. Should I keep those? Nah. Can't even remember what this came from. No, all in metal recycling. I seem to have a lot of these decorative uh, glass stones. I think those can go as well because they can look quite nice, you know, with the candle wick, but I ain't, I'm not doing that anymore. And before I forget, I did have some items from uh, the bedroom. As you know, I declutter as I find things as I go along and I put them in a bag for uh, our swap parties. And we had a swap party last week. So, so here are the items that I took to the swap party. Raincoat um, is just too kind of frothy, frothy for me. And I've got other raincoats. So this one is going. This is a navy tank top from Warehouse that I never use. Swimming costume. I actually got this at one of the clothes swaps a couple of years ago. And it just doesn't make me look my best. That this... Uh, kind of sweetheart neckline is not good on, on me. I, I've got a very small chest and I'm much better with things that go straight across. A pair of um, socks that I've worn once, sparkly socks. Baby doll top and it's just, it makes me look too boyish because it's so uh, kind of girly. So that that is going. A random bangle. Nice colour, but I don't like the feeling on on my wrist. I'm, I've got quite bony wrists. This top, you've seen it before and I tried change it a bit. It was a bit boring and it's just too floppy. Uh, I tried embroidering some little random blooms on it but I'm still not using. A pair of like chinos that I got from a clothes swap uh, and they are blue and white but the problem is there's so much white in it they actually come off as looking quite greyed. The jewellery you have uh, seen before. I, I put them on little cards just so they don't get lost in the mix. Blouse, uh, this was a hand-me-down from Vibica, quite vintage style, Vibica loves vintage but and again I'm, I'm really not wearing it so that is going to. And today's outfit actually, this is a top that I got one of our, our clothes swaps oh, in 20, 2018 because I, I remember wearing this top, you can see it here, really gold buttons at the back, uh, I, I wore this top on my birthday in, 20, in June 2018 so there you go. Those are going straight into my car for donations. Set your timer for another couple of minutes and let's get this cleared away. And when you've done your, your cleaning or decluttering this area, remember to add a wee bit of hygge to the room, a candle or a fresh bloom. This is one of the peonies from the garden. And my mum was saying to me the other day, she's got peonies in her garden in Edinburgh. And she said, oh, this reminds her of, of my birthday because it's my birthday at the end of the week. And uh, anyway, there you go. And, and if you don't have access to fresh flowers, often in the winter I will use um, fake flowers, you know, these uh, plastic ones, which almost look like the same thing, but obviously don't have the same smell. Look at that, aren't they beautiful, the peonies? And that's a wrap. Right, all done, all back to normal ship shape and Bristol fashion. And all I've got left to say, whoop, drop my pom poms. <laughs> That wasn't so bad after all, was it, once we got started? So anyway, uh, live long and prosper. May they do cluttering. Who could be with you? Uh, and I'll see you very soon with a wrap, wrap, wrap. Okay, bye for now.